Nearly six million children in the U.S. have some type of food allergy. In fact, studies show that 60 to 80 percent of those school children have even had an allergic reaction in school, which can be scary. Now, thanks to new legislation signed by President Barack Obama, schools will help stock emergency supplies of epinephrine in the form of EpiPens in the schools. But as we found out in tonight's cover story, not all of the schools in Central Texas are doing it. When it comes to allergic reactions, every second counts. He said, my throat hurts, I'm sick. So I said, okay, you know, we'll watch it, check his temperature. And then about 30 seconds later, his lips were swollen. Mother of three, Natalie Kinzel knows just how scary they can be. She learned her son had allergies just after Waylon's third birthday. It's terrifying. It really it's terrifying to um, think that something as little as a lemon could possibly kill my child. And Natalie knows she may not be around when an allergic reaction happens or if a life-saving EpiPen will be available to help save her son's life. All he knows is his throat feels weird or his lips feel weird or he's itching, but he can't say, I'm having a hard time breathing. I'm having my allergy. This has been shown time and time again to be the most effective treatment for this. It works quickly and it, you get a pretty dramatic response from it. Dog fatal. One big concern is Waylon having a reaction at school. Not all schools have EpiPens stocked and ready to go. As, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea for them to be in schools. It's extremely important that we have um, access to EpiPens. Now, Round Rock ISD is taking a proactive approach to try and help protect students and teachers. I went to EpiPensForSchool.com and they're sending me 100 EpiPens, so we're thrilled. Round Rock ISD isn't alone. Eanes ISD, Hayes County ISD, and San Marcos ISD all stock extra EpiPens, but these districts don't stock them. AISD, Leander ISD, and Pflugerville ISD. But for mothers like Natalie and for Round Rock ISD, stocking EpiPens is an extra layer of peace of mind when every second counts. I think every school should have EpiPens on hand. This is a growing epidemic. I have 70 health services staff and we probably have about 10 of them that have used them one or more times. So they saved kids' lives for sure. It's important to note that just because a school is not stocking up on EpiPens, it doesn't mean they do not have them on campus in case of an emergency for students with known allergies. To learn more about the symptoms of anaphylactic shock, just log on to our website, KITV.com.